Hello everyone, I'm Lynn and today I'm going to talk about Elizabeth Bathory in Cash Tice Castle. That's kind of a tongue twister. So the question that was sent to me, it says, Hello Lynn, are you able to tell us if Elizabeth Bathory did all those bad things to young women in Cash Tice Castle, as history says? And here's a little bit of quoted text because I had not heard of her. I have not come across her in history or any kind of reading before. So I'll give a little excerpt of who she was and what she was about, and then I'll get into the reading. So this quoted text that I got, and I cited it on my blog here, this Countess Elizabeth Bathory, she was born on August 7th, 1560. So this was many centuries ago here. She was a Hungarian noblewoman and also supposedly a serial killer from the family of Bathory, who owned land in the Kingdom of Hungary, who's, which is now Hungary, Slovakia, and Romania. So that area of the world. So you had these very elite people with money that, that basically controlled a large region of people. She, along with four of her servants, were accused of torturing and killing hundreds of girls and women between the years of 1590 and 1610. Her servants were not or her servants, rather, I'm sorry, were put on trial and convicted, whereas Bathory was confined to her home and she was imprisoned within her castle in the year of December 1610. And if you want to go and follow my link and just get way more into her life, way more into the details, but I wanted to give a brief synopsis of what she was accused of and what she was about. So as I tune into her, this is the part that I worked on, I do get that she did these things, that when she was young, she witnessed abuse and grandiose um, things and elements of abuse that really molded who she was. It shaped her young mind and it changed her. She had mental and physical impairments, uh, seizures, that she felt the only way to heal and get relief was to consume components on another human's body. That was in her head. That was some mental thing that she had, that she had this obsession. Hey, if I'm going to heal myself, I have to consume a person who doesn't have my afflicted issue, and then I will be healthy like they are. Specifically, she wanted the body of someone that she either emulated or she felt some element of jealousy. So you take these young women that you think maybe have something that you don't have. Maybe she liked the way they look. Maybe she liked their personality. Maybe she was envious that they were just healthy in general. So she would take them, abuse them, and she would want to consume parts of them thinking it would transmute her into them in some psychological way. That's what I picked up on. As a result, she would harm and kill these young women. She twisted her mind to think it was not rather a want or a desire, but rather a need for survival. So she twisted it to not feel guilty that this she had to do this. This is how she had to survive and be healthy. She would also enlist others to do her dirty work and they would comply out of fear of her and or her family. So that's how she got the servants to do some of her dirty work as well. I do get that this did happen and that there is truth to the folklore. She was very troubled soul. She had lots of karma to work through in that life. And sadly, I see that she created more for herself than she resolved. Her free will ended up leaving her in a way more uh, debt karma position than she was when she incarnated in that world. She's not jumped back in that I could see yet into this matrix, but I do get she will. Some type of energetic shift has to occur before she's going to agree to do so. So maybe she'll get a redeeming life path when she comes back. I, I get she's really needs to, she wants to, but something has to happen first. And that was really all I got on this reading. Very interesting, different type of person and different type of mentality. Uh, thanks so much for asking the question. It was is definitely a different topic. So hopefully you found this interesting too. Please leave a comment and don't forget to like and share my videos. Again, I'm Lynn with Psychic Focus at psychicfocus.blogspot.com. Take care. Bye.